Hey YouTube, it's Bobby with KCA Ranch and Homestead. About to start a multi-day build of a chicken hoop coop. Chicken hoop coop will be made out of a treated base about 8 foot by 12 foot. Just a square on the ground. And then I'll have three cattle panels, 50, 50 inch cattle panels inside against that frame uh, arched over. And then we'll use tarps and different coverings throughout the year to either provide shade or warmth uh, for the chickens. The first round of chickens that we are going to do are going to be meat chickens. They're not going to be laying hens, uh, long-term chickens. They're going to be short, either Cornish Cross or Freedom Rangers, uh, meat birds. So... Cornish Cross will probably butcher at about eight weeks old, depending on their weight and health. And the Freedom Rangers take about 12 weeks. Um, there's some differences in the two birds. I'm not going to go into it, um, mainly because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I do know the Cornish Cross, uh, are they grow fast. Uh, the feed conversion to chicken meat is better. But they're just not a healthy looking bird. They just sit around and eat and poop and get fat, kind of like me. And then they get to where they can't even walk, but you butcher them before they get to that point. Freedom Rangers are a little more athletic, not like me. Um, their meat feed to meat conversion is a little slower. Uh, like I said, it takes about 12 weeks before you butcher. Your butcher weight will be smaller. But instead of having a huge breast, um, which Mary and I are not really big fans of white meat on the chicken anyway, uh, the Freedom Ranger, I'm sorry, the Cornish Cross has a huge breast and smaller legs and thighs. Uh, the Freedom Ranger is just the opposite. They have a smaller breast and more dark meat. So we still haven't decided yet it costs more for the freedom rangers you have to feed them longer you don't get as much meat but they can reproduce uh, and you can incubate eggs if you want the cornish cross are sterile they're made up of a mixture of different birds and anyway that's probably more than you wanted to know and that's about all i know about them uh, we haven't decided yet though we're still 50 50 on which birds so anyway back to the hoop coop it's just a simple, I say cheap, but nothing's cheap anymore. FJB. Um, cattle panels are about 31 bucks a piece at Tractor Supply. I've got four of them. I think I'm only going to use three. Um, lumber, you know how much lumber is, but uh, treated 2x6s, four of those. Um, and then I got some treated 2x4s for my supports and my door frame. And I haven't decided yet what kind of door. Then you got to wrap it in chicken wire. You got to use hardware cloth along the bottom if you want to slow down the predators. Uh, you got to attach the cattle panels inside that wooden frame um, with something. I'm going to use plumber strap, plumber's tape, some people call it. A little piece over the cattle panel end and screw it into the wood. And I'll be showing you that later. All right. Let me get this frame built, and then I'll be back. Okay, I got the frame slapped together with some three and a half inch screws. Of course, the boards are bowed a little bit. And anyway, um, something that I learned during the research is the cattle panels are going to be inside here, pushing out with a lot of pressure. So you want to screw this board into that one instead of having the board on the outside with all that pressure pushing from the tension of the cattle panels that are going to be hooped over to the inside over here just a little something that they said to do to uh, strengthen it up so now I'm either going to make some wood braces in the corner some 45s and just put from here to here I'm going to slap some of these little elbows on, stay tights, or I can't remember what they're called. A little angle iron to strengthen up the braces, or strengthen up the corners. 
anyway that's where we're at now cattle panels are down in there in the wood not in the woods but close and uh, where we're gonna put the chickens so the coyotes and bobcats can have a free buffet anyway we'll be back okay I got the corners braced up with these little angle pieces hopefully it'll strengthen it up a little bit because I need to move this thing and drag it a little bit but it's pretty square it's out like a quarter inch or so but the boards are bowed and I'm not on level ground so I'm happy with it let me see if I can see where they're going You see that big group of pine trees there. The cattle panels are laying on the ground right there. They're gonna be in between those pine trees because we're gonna have a garden area down here and a garden area going that way this year. We had water lines ran back there and things like that. Anyway, we put in a new drain for our washing machine and utility sink in the well house the other one wasn't got clogged up so we put in a bigger pipe ran it way out there way down the hill so it's got some type of sock over it so it can't get clogged up with roots and things like that anyway everything's looking good we got lots of baby rabbits well or laying eggs even in the winter time got an electrician out here right now he's on lunch break but he's wiring up that shed and putting us a generator switch that'll run that cabin this well house and this cabin with our new 13,000 watt generator that Home Depot seems to have lost somewhere between Dallas and Houston I'll be back with more chicken coop excitement. Just wanted to take a second to show you the basics of the hoop coop in case you've never seen one. I have not attached this cattle panel yet. But you can see how it's going to be attached on the inside of the frame. And then I'll have another one here. And another one here. We'll create a big hoop over the whole thing there's going to be some doors and braces framed out and stuff like that but just want to show you the basics of how it works it's about six foot tall with this uh, particular measurements which is about eight foot by 12 foot if i had went wider with the frame of course the uh, hoop would have been lower and if i would have went narrower the hoop would have been taller but i wanted it where I could walk under it with my five foot eight self. So. Okay, I wanted to show y'all how I'm attaching this to the frame with the plumber strap. A little piece on the horizontals and the verticals, kind of every other one basically. Okay, here you can see uh, these are 50 inches wide, so I've got 100 inches right now of cattle panel. I'm missing one right here, and that'll take up about the whole, yeah, that'll take up the entire 8 feet, I'm sorry, 12 feet long boards, and then we got 8 feet in the middle. Let me show you how it's attached. You got horizontals and verticals so that it keeps it from sliding up and down or left and right. And this is where they come together. Zip ties uh, pretty much every other one. I did every one at the top just because it's the weakest point. Snipped off the zip ties nicely. I would suggest if you build one of these to keep the zip tie, the sharp tag ends, uh, 
on the inside so you don't tear your tarps or screens, whatever you put on top. I had a couple that I forgot to do that way and I had to start over. Anyway, that's about it. Should have enough time to add the third and final cattle panel. And then I'll design, let's see, I got lumber over here, treated two by fours to design my braces and my door frame. I think that's going to be the end of part one of the KCA Ranch hoop coop for our meat chickens. Uh, after this, I will start a part two that involves the bracing and door frames and all that. And then part three will probably cover the wire that goes over it, chicken wire and uh, hardware cloth or rabbit wire that I may use. I'm not sure yet what I, what I have. I have to go check my junk pile. All right, thanks for watching.